The first thing that went through my mind, are they still here? Are we alone? It's dark, I can't see anything past the tower. The power blackout covered the entire upper tip of the North Island, including Kaitaia, Kaikohe and Paihia. Bullet cases were found at the base of three transmission towers and Northland police are investigating. We all expect to get power at the flick of a switch. But there are times when natural events take over bad weather events when we can't always guarantee supply. So it's how we respond and how fast we can restore power for people that is really important. So we lost supply. Uh, we didn't know why, uh, but we knew everything was off. It starts with a, a phone call to say, NAFA's out. <laughs> And then I get a phone call from the network to say it's not just NAFA, everything's out. And it was a really pretty rough weather for December. So it was up to people like myself and my crews to walk in and find it. And when we got there, we found insulators missing, insulator discs missing, broken glass all over the ground. And intermingled with it was a whole lot of uh, spent rounds that were fresh enough that you could still smell the cordite coming off them. Were, someone had just freshly fired them. Our first response is to deal with TransPower to enable the supply to be restored. Uh, and then it's a, it's a dialogue with TransPower about a restoration plan or a repair plan. It's really critical that we communicate well. Um, so the guys on the desk were talking to the service providers that were in the field, um, which wasn't always easy because cell phone towers by that stage were all starting to go down, power supplies were running out to them. Uh, Sims team was run up. We had people working on logistics that were organising to get hold of the gear. Um, we had other people dealing with the service provider working out how we would be able to get it to them, making sure that we had what they needed there. It was a really unfortunate time for it to happen. We had uh, a cruise ship into Pai here, and what happens when a cruise ship comes in is all the people get off the boat and they expect to go and do something. Typically those people are estimated to spend $200 a day on their shore-based visits in New Zealand. So that's sort of in the region of half a million dollars worth of economic impact that can't be recovered the following day because it's an impulse buy and um, it's an impact right across the board really in different areas but exacerbated in December, January or the summer period when tourist season is at its peak and also agricultural production is also at its peak. In terms of speed of uh, restoration of supply, uh, we'd initially been advised that we, it could be up to 48 hours and the supply was restored uh, well before that. We had a clear uh, delineation between the customer focus communication and the operational focus. Uh, the control rooms worked extremely well together. Uh, Transpower were very open around the cause of the fault uh, and it was good to be able to share that because until that point, the, the, frankly, the community were blaming both Top Energy and Transpower. We were given a window of a day and, and we had it back in or less than a third of a day. We, we had it back fast, faster than they thought we would and probably faster than we thought was possible, really. Power has been restored to large parts of the far north after an outage thought to have been caused by someone firing a gun at a transmission tower. Police are now investigating.